coming up in Ms. Tastic. anytime hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home perfect for families and classrooms hi my friend today we are going to be diving in and making art for fruit so fruit might be apples oranges bananas jackfruit papayas kiwis mangoes there are so many delicious fruit out there fruit are actually the part of a plant that is sweet it might be juicy or sour to eat and really it is a part of the plant that contains the seeds inside. Now it's in the plant's favor to have its seeds in this delicious things. So that way animals might take that fruit and take it to other places to eat. And hopefully some of those seeds are dropped and then can grow into a new tree or plant. Did you know that a tomato is actually a fruit? True fact. So let's take a look at some different types of fruit. There is a fig, grapes, kiwi, jackfruit, papaya, plum, a cherry, the dragon fruit, and that's a pretty cool looking fruit. And of course, grapefruit. But there are lots of different kinds of fruit. Now we're gonna head on over to the art studio where we are going to draw some cute kiwi and then we're going to make an oil pastel artwork of grapes. Let's make some art. Let's draw a cute kiwi. Okay. We're gonna draw, hmm, a circle. With another circle around it for the skin. Add some little fuzzies. We'll add little feet, so we're gonna add two little legs down. And we'll add little feet. We'll add the inside of the kiwi. I like look at zigzag lines in a circle. Then we'll add the seeds. <clears throat> On either side, we're gonna draw a circle. I just go right over areas like that. I'm gonna clear them dark anyways. And we'll do we'll color in the dark of the eyes, leaving those little circles white. Line across. Little U. 
for the mouth. Curve one line down to the bottom for the tongue. And then we'll color in the dark of the mouth, leaving the tongue white. You can add some little dashes here and there for some texture. And then you can go ahead and color in your kiwi using your choice art mediums and art making medium uh, colors. We're going to make our oil pastel grapes. Let's grab a light color. I'm just going to use pink. We can grab any light color. Start off with a big circle with a curve on either side and another smaller one. And then we're going to add three below three curves below that, and one big curve at the very bottom. We'll add two curving lines up with a stem. Okay. We're going to grab a grape color, so whatever grape flavor you want, you can grab it could be purple, it could be green, it's whatever one you want. I'm gonna do purple grape. It's 
we're gonna begin with coloring in each grape with my purple. And you'll see that your under color just barely shows through, just so you know where each of those are, and that's good. using my purple oil pastel but you might again use your green whatever color you want I'm gonna grab a stem color first. We'll color that in. All right, now let's add some highlights and some shadows. Otherwise, it's going to be, well, just like a coloring sheet, right? We don't want to look like a coloring sheet. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of black under each grape. And we're, I notice I'm coloring it like the shape of the grape, right? It's going in a curvy, curving motion. why oil pastels are so cool. But honestly, when I started oil painting, I had never oil painted. I've always used acrylic or watercolor. And when I switched to oil paint, I thought, wow, this is literally the exact same as, not the exact same, because there's a little, a lot more complicated, but it's very similar to how it blends to oil pastel. I thought, whoa, which is a little more tricky with Relics because they dry so fast. You're like, oh my gosh, it's dry. Can't blend it. Look at that. Oh, so fun, right? Okay. Wait. Because we got, oh, I forgot this. Highlights. Blend it in. Okay, we're going to highlight the top of each. Grape again, going with the shape, right? We don't want to go back and forth because the grape isn't flat, it's round. We go with the shape. Woohoo! Oh, 
check it out. Isn't that great? Okay, now, let's add some greenery. And there's some coming out from the behind here. Isn't that great? And if you want to sharpen it up, we're gonna go around all the details. Just like that, your grapes are done. Look how great that looks. We got some, a lot of realism happening with your, your highlights and your shades. Just creating that sense of depth with your value. All right, so you can go display. You can even cut it off into a nicer shape to match your, your grape. You can add other choice details in your background. And just like that, your grapes are done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and take me at MizArtTastic or use the hashtag MizArtTastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.